Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Well, it's um, <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done any electronic experiments. It must have been about two weeks or so since my previous video. You might remember this from several videos back. This sort of lighting rig that I made for um, lighting my cartoons when I make them. That holds the camera and the lights on it. Well, I think this kind of this all this wiring here is a little bit messy. So I thought I'd investigate into a new way of powering those lights. Now, I could power these straight off the mains with a ballast and starters, but I don't want to do that because the webcam I've got does not like 50 hertz lighting. In fact, 60 hertz lighting isn't even much of an improvement either. I just get all these dark bands on the screen and it's really annoying. So, what I want to do is try to make a much more simpler circuit to power these lights at a high frequency that the camera will work well with. So I decided to dig around in my parts box and I got my ZVS flyback driver and instead of connecting it to a flyback I've actually connected it to another transformer. So we've got the center tap which goes to the positive of the power supply then the two wires either side of the transformer that go into the ZVS driver and I decided to try this just to see how well it works. I'm powering this off this homemade transformer. At the moment I've got it on about nine, about nine and a half volts. I can get about 24 volts out of this transformer but I don't want to power it on too much just now. But there does seem to be a slight bit of a drawback with this. Now I'm going to plug this in. And I don't know how well you can hear that but as you can probably hear, that transformer is buzzing like crazy! And the frequency is nowhere near high enough for what I need. I could change this transform uh, this capacitor here. This little black thing is a 1 microfarad capacitor. However, it does provide a high voltage. Now, ignore this transformer. This isn't actually doing anything. That's just holding this wire. In fact, I had a kind of little explosion in this transformer the other day when I powered it up. You might be able to see just around there that wire's got an all charred. I'm not sure how that happened. Looks like something arced in there and then it just totally shorted out. Which is never a good thing. Okay, I'm going to have to make this quick because my camera battery is fading out really, really quickly. I had no idea it was this low. I thought it was fully charged, but it obviously is not. Anyway, we, we do get high voltage out of this. I hope the camera battery will last out while I do this demonstration. Let's just pan over to the wires. If I short these two wires together, well, you can see we get a little bit of arc in there. And some buzzing because this didn't connect very good. But I tried this with the light. I'll try this with the light connected. Now let me just connect up the light. So I now have the light connected up to the what used to be the primary side of this transformer, which I'm using as the secondary side. Let's just power the thing on again. If I can get that in there. You can see that's really... Well, that's not going to work, so I'm going to need to think of something. I'm going to gut a CFL. And instead of powering this, this little circuit board is going to power that. This is an 8 watt ballast, I think. Well, this is an 8 watt, well, was an 8 watt CFL. And this is an 8 watt tube, so they should go well together. Right, okay, we're all ready to do experiment now. I've connected this to that. If you want to have a little look, look. A little look at how I've done it. Um, oh, you would be able to see if the camera would focus. But anyway, <coughs> I got to stop breathing like that. I'm gonna connect it up, and I'm gonna connect it up in series with this primer of this transformer, so I can do a low power test. So let's see if we what we get. Oh, there we go. Let there be light!
Let there be lots of lights. In fact, it looks a lot more brighter on the camera than it does in real life for some reason. Now what I've got to do is get another one of these so I can connect up the other fluorescent light and... I think that'll be pretty good. Okay, here it is all set up. Now I know some people would say this is not very professional looking, but I don't care. It's functional and that's all that matters to me. So I've got the wiring there. Left the original switch on there. I know I should use better tape for the insulation, but um, ordinary uh, ordinary tape will do for now. Anyway, it's time to fire this thing up and see if it works. I've got this plugged in. Let's give it a test. So I'm turning it on with this switch. Well, there is a light. So the, all that remains now is just to put this back onto that thing there and it'll be done. There it is, all done. As you can see, now I'm going to be able to do my cartoons again. And for those of you about wondering whether I'm going to, yeah, I am going to do continue doing cartoons in the traditional way. And there will be new flash animations as well when I can get around to doing those. But yes, there's the microphone. There it is.